$50 at hand. We embarked on a rough and tumble journey of establishing a college fully devoted to mass communication without the needed money and other resources. Being a woman, I sometimes felt like I might falter in my capacity, in my mission. Hardly anybody was coming forward to appreciate my efforts. Few trusted women's, uh, uh, women's capacity. I received several phone calls at threat and no real help. We forwarded our proposal to the industries in Kathmandu to seek support for our mission of developing this college into a unique institution in the rapidly expanding field of mass communication. We assured them of our commitment to eventually establish a university of mass communication in Nepal. I heard nothing but more cr critical comments. That was the time when I paralleled we went and knocked the door of American, Indian, British and several other embassies and international organizations when nobody encouraged or inspired my efforts. SNV, Vijo, UNICEF, Asia Foundation and many other donors, to my surprise, advised me to line up with Nepal Press Institute, a 10-month training institute, whereas I was trying to run academic master degree course under the affiliation of a university. But then I did not give up my stand concerning the fact that an academic degree cannot be awarded by a training institute. And this was, the, this was my idea and campaign to start master's degree in Nepal. Cannot be realized since last 22 years, Trivon University was running bachelor's degree course. I then challenged myself that my PhD from Russia, which became a piece of paper in the media industry, must prove the male dominated society. In those difficult times, I must know the faculty members and the students stood by my side. At one time, there were no students. At another, there were no faculty members. 